morning, Remnant Church. How y'all doing this morning? Oh, come on. Y'all ready to worship with me this morning? I'm ready. Where are my fathers at? Let me, yeah, happy Father's Day, everybody. We're so happy that you chose to be here this morning. All we ask is you just worship with us, all right? Here we go. You are Alpha and Omega. You are Alpha and Omega. You're the beginning and the end. You're the beginning and the end. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. The same yesterday, today, and forever. Oh, I praise, I praise your, name. your name. I praise, I praise your name. Yeah, 
Just give him some love this morning. He's worthy, worthy to be praised. It's good to be here. How many are excited to be in the house of the Lord this morning? Amen. It's good to see you. Happy Father's Day. Come on, kings. Let me, let me get a wave of hands this morning as we honor our fathers. Come on, if you will. I know I'm not the only daddy in the place. Amen. It's good to have you here as we honor you. Can we give our fathers one more round of applause? Thank you. Thank you for all you do. Ushers, would you come on up? Amen. Amen. How many knows that we got to make room for what God's going to do? I believe that we have to do that in all aspects of our life, Lord. Not only do I pray for the filling, Lord, but I also pray that you will begin to allow me to empty myself, that I can make room for what you want to do in my life. And I believe that's no difference in my, in my, in my money, in my tithing, God. Allow me to make more room for the blessing that you have coming my way. Malachi says, bring all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house and prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. Amen. How many is ready to receive a blessing this morning? Praise God. Father, we thank you in this house. Lord, we thank you that you've allowed us one more time to be here in your tabernacle. And Lord, we just ask right now that you'll continue to multiply and increase. Lord, we'll move out of your way, God. We give it all to you this morning. It's yours anyway. Father, we thank you for this service, God. We give you glory in advance for what you're fixing to do, Lord. I feel chains are fixing to break off people's lives, Lord. I, I, I feel that sick bodies are going to come into alignment with your word this morning Lord and we believe it and decree and declare it all now in the mighty name of Jesus and everybody shout amen come on let's give the Lord a praise and pass it on 
when he sings have you ever felt defeated have you ever felt like there was no way out well I've stopped by the remnant church this morning to encourage somebody that no matter your situation no matter the fight that you're going through you can walk out different but the choice is yours if you want him bro you can walk you out can walk out whole. come on right and here. if you want in the he can save your soul Cause if you walked in bro You can walk out home Come on If you walked in lost He can save your soul Just a mention of his name 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 Everything can change, everything can change, everything can change. 
somebody this morning and say my situation just changed my circumstance just changed because I just mentioned the name at the name of Jesus every knee will bow every tongue will confess look at somebody and say I believe turnaround is on its way why because I know a name I believe my blessings on the way why because I know a name my kids are on their way why? Because I know a name. My body's getting in line. Why? Because I know a name. Everything you need can be found within a name. Yeshua HaMashiach. Jesus. My God. Yeah, come on, come on. Just the mention of his name. Come on, tell us. Just the mention of his name. Everything can change. Everything can change. I want you to change Just the words to everything must change. Everything must change. How many knows it's got to change? Everything must change. Everything must change. Come on, come on. Everything must change. Everything must change. Everything must change. Everything must change. Come on, it's gonna change. Everything must change. Everything must change. Everything must change. Everything must change. How many knows that change starts the moment that we make a decision? Change starts the moment that I decide that the the present circumstance that I'm living in is no longer conducive to the place where God's taking me in the spirit. I wish I had just two or three. I'm gonna say it one more time. When I realize that my physical state is no longer conducive to the place where God's called me to be, and I begin to think in my mind that I've gotta change something, at that moment, then my whole situation has to get in line with what my spirit man says it's going, oh, y'all don't jump. You want your marriage to be reconciled? Change your mind. You, you want your job to be conformed to your spirituality? Change how you talk. Change how you think. Everything starts with change. My God. Oh, Sam Cook said, I was born by the river. But I know that a change is going to come. At that point in his life when he made up his mind that I'm no longer going to live in the situation that I'm in now, change began to manifest. Give God a praise in this place. Come on, look at somebody and say, I'm ready for a change. Now look at the other person. That was the wrong one. Look at somebody else and say, your situation has to change when your problem is introduced to an omnipotent, omnipresent God. I wish I... I'm gonna say it again. 
Your problem has to change when it's introduced to the problem solver. Your chains have to break when they're introduced to the chain breaker. Your body has to be healed when it's introduced to an ultimate physician. Hey, I wish I had some Pentecostal folk. Hey, in the house this morning. So good, so good. Praise team. God bless y'all. Give them a hand. Hey. My God, he's good, ain't he? Ooh, change, change. My God, I know a change is going to come. Mm -hmm. Father, we glorify you in this place. God, we stand in awe of who you are this morning. You are the one that spoke out, peace be still to the storm, Lord, and even the waves have to obey your name. So who is this mountain that stands in front of me, God? Who is this giant that stands in front of me that it also shall not bow? David said, I slew the young lion and the bear and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them. God, we bring our issues to you and lay them down at the altar, Lord. Father, I thank you for the word that you've given me, Lord. I know that it is an extension of yourself, God. Timothy says that every scripture in the book is breathed out. It is Theonustus, God. It is your breath, God. Let us breathe in. Woo! Let us breathe in, God, the breath of life this morning, Lord. We love you, we praise you, and it's in your mighty son's name. Hey, I feel the spirit of God in this place, God. I feel the preacher man in this house, Lord. My God, somebody just give him about five seconds. I got to... Brother Mike, blow that horn, Brother Mike. Blow the horn, Brother Mike. Blow the horn, Brother Mike. Come on, give him praise in this place. Come on, praise him. Go ahead and release your jubilee in this house. Come on, praise him in advance. Praise him in advance. My God, my God. How many knows that you can't wait? Brother Mike, you can't wait for your, your problem or your circumstance to start to change and then decide to praise God. I know the the choir's working on the new song. That's why I praise you in advance, God. I'm not going to wait until I see it because I've learned that faith allows me to praise God in the supernatural before my blessings have ever been manifested in my life. Sometimes you got to praise Him in advance. No, I may not see it yet. My body's still weak. My money ain't right, Brother Layton, but I'm going to shout like I've got it anyway. It's already mine. Look at somebody and say it like that. It's already mine. Why? Well, because God said anything I ask. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Not. And it shall be open unto you. Ah, my Lord, thank you, Jesus. My God. I thought this morning that I was coming into a church that was full of people that were ready to receive a whatever. Y'all know what a whatever is? It's a whatever God you want to give me. I, I don't need a certain thing. I just need you because I know that all good gifts, Lord. I want a whatever for a whosoever, Lord. Whatever you're doing in this season, God. What? Uh, If we get some folk in here that got their mind made up, that whatever you're doing in this season in my life, Lord, though the vision tarry, the, whatever you're doing in this season, God, it may not be what I want, God, but I'm in. Oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus. How many feel the presence of God in this place? Brother Jesse, get back up here on that microphone.
feel the spirit of praise in this house. Here on Father's Day, I've come to honor my father. Here on Father's Day, I've come to pay tribute and reverence unto the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. How many will just take about five more minutes and say, God, we want to pay honor to you for everything that you've done in our lives. I never would have made it, God, without you, Lord. I, I would have lost it all. I never would have made it. I never could have made it without you. Anybody? I would have lost it all. Anybody? But now I see you were there for me, and I can't say I never would have made it. No, I never could have made it without you. I would have lost it all. But now, but now I see. No, I never could have made it without you. I would have, I lost. Would have lost it all. Oh. But now I see now you were there for me. And I can say I'm stronger. I'm wiser. Come on. I'm better. I'm much better. When I look back. yesterday and yesteryear and you don't even know how you made it through the things that you've been through you don't know how you made it through all the loss and the heartache you don't know how you made it through all the depression and all the suicidal thoughts that the enemy placed in your mind but yet here you are 
And now if you just stand right there in that pew and just allow your mind to go back to that point in time and you begin to understand God, if it had not been for you, if it had not been for your mercy, if it had not been for your grace and long suffering, I never, come on, I never, I never would have made it. As you make your way back to your seats, my Lord, such a beautiful song, my God, Jesse, you don't know, he's so good, he's going to have to learn it, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord, we've already prayed, my Lord, happy Father's Day, can I preach to you this morning, can I be unapologetical? in my delivery this morning to you. 